Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a custom notebook using a Canva templates. Whether you're a student, teacher, or just someone who loves beautiful ideas, Canva can help you design a unique and personalized notebook. First of all, you open up your browser and you go to Canva as I've got here. If you don't have an account, you just simply sign up. Now click on create a design on the top right hand side corner. And then I'm going to put up here US letter and it's a document, which is 8.5 times 11 inches. On the left-hand side, you will find templates. So click on that and type in notebook. Now, Canva offers you a range of notebooks already pre-made, and they're actually amazing. But if you wanted to use these and sell them, you're going to have to change them up a little bit. So I'm just going to choose, say, this beautiful notebook. I haven't seen this one yet, but this is lovely. Now, let's customize your notebook. Fantastic, I'm going to copy that, paste. Oh, right, brilliant notebook. So it's got some sort of space on the side. In the background, I'm going to make it dark. And then I'm going to copy this by Command C and Command V. I'm going to paste it and then create a full spiral on the side here. And that's just for looks. You can make the background white if you wanted to and see what you prefer. That might be a little bit better or even white itself. But I do prefer what they've actually come up with. Let's change the font here from notebook to another font. That's okay, but this one might be a little bit better. And I'm going to change the font color to maybe some sort of dark blue. That's a nice blue. We'll get there and we'll get rid of that name, which isn't me. As you can see, these are literal the papers from Elements up here. If you go into Elements, you can probably find all these papers. And I can change those if I wanted to. So let's just go and have a look to see what's available. This pretty one is really nice, so I might just delete these ones and pop these ones in instead. And make sure it fits the whole page. Paste, and it looks like I found the join here. And then I'm going to grab both by clicking and sh shift. So I've collected both, I'm going to group by right clicking, and I've just grouped that to make one page. Now I'm going to go up to position, and then I'm going to go backwards and backwards. I really like that notebook so far. Now one thing I will change is the outline of the rectangle shape here. It's just a little bit too in your face, so let's make it skinnier. I quite like that. Skinnier, just a tad, and I might change the colour. And that's it. Alright, so we've got our notebook cover. I will change the background after all. Maybe to, I'll keep white. All right, so here we go. We're going to add a page because what I ultimately want to do is make this into a PDF so I can upload into GoodNotes or Notability or any other note-taking app. So we're going to add a page. You can keep that as is. So that's going to be the second page. You can continue to add page, add page, add page. But what I'm going to do is I am going to put some lines in here. So I'm going to go to Elements. I'm going to put lines on a page and see what they come up with. Okay, so you've got a few here, and let's just see all. These grids that are invisible are probably best for what I want to use. And let's just go for your typical lines on a page. This one here, it's pro. Um, some of them aren't, but most of them are, and it is worthwhile getting a pro account. They'll be large lines, so they may not work for this notebook, or they may work because it's, it's US letter size, so it's just not big enough. So let's try this one here. That one looks way better. I'd use that one myself, and I can use that on GoodNotes, which I have an app on, and I can just write on it, which is exactly what I want. I can make five of these if I want to duplicate four more times, so I have five of these pages, and now I'm going to add a page, and I'm going to actually put one of these grids on, probably this one, see what it looks like. I like these ones, they're quite cool. I'm sort of eyeballing it, copying and pasting again. overlap it and what I will do is group it so I'm not quite finished yet so right click group and now that's easy to, to handle I'm not worried about bleed at all that's perfectly fine now I'm going to select my group okay copy I'm going to click down here and paste again and so it did align and let's do that one more time and bring it right down 
and that looks good and now I've got the basically I call it the math page but this is really great for putting pictures in with perspective writing on lines drawing that sort of thing so let's make some duplicate one two three four liking that already this looks good now for the next one add a page we're going to find something different now if I wanted to I could also grab actual paper that has been scanned and uploaded into Canva and make that as part of my notebook it's similar to that one but this one looks pretty good let's make some duplicates of this as well so five of these and let's go and make my last set let's go find another one and this one I put dots on a journal page and this is what has popped up this is perfect for my reckoning I can make that right down here if I wanted or make it smaller so I'll make it a little bit smaller to see if it's going to fit properly about there be fine so I'm going to copy and paste and then I'm going to put and sort of eyeball it and that looks fine to me and then we're going to duplicate four more times four all right so I have my pages I'm just going to show you what they look like when we have a decent look so that's fine that'll be fine once so now I'm going to go up to share and I'm going to go to download and then I'm going to go to PDF, either print or standard. I'm just going to go standard because it's going on an iPad and I'm not printing it. If I was going to print it, let's download that. I'm going to open that up and show you what it looks like. Okay, that's the PDF. I'm going to email this to my personal account and download it onto my iPad. Then from there, I'm going to upload onto my GoodNotes app. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, so here I am in my Gmail. I've sent myself the PDF, as you can see, and I've now opened it in my iPad, as you can see. And now I'm going to open it by tapping on it. There is my notebook. It goes down as I saved it on Canva. But I'm going to import it to GoodNotes, where I'm going to use it. So I'm going to go to this little import button up top. I can put it on my drive, but I'm going to directly import it. And then I'm going to find GoodNotes along here. So there's open in GoodNotes, or I can go along here and just find the icon. I'll go into the three dots and find it this way. There's GoodNotes. So I can import to current document, which I don't want, or import as a new document. So let's try that. And there you go. I've got uh, my notebook. It's now imported with all my pages, but it's going to the side because that's the way that GoodNotes is configured. But I'm really proud that it was so easy to make your own notebook cover with the inners as well. And it's ready to go and I can just fill those out with a an eye pencil or with even my text box by putting it there and then typing in there. Actually, it's very easy to do and I think I'm going to make some more later on. Thanks for watching.